love. Love is all I ever need. Bow, bow, bow. All I need is love. Love. All I need is love. Love. All I need is love. Love. Love is all I ever need. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? How you feeling, family? It's moving. How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? Love always wins. Mm-hmm. Love always wins. I hope everybody's well out there. I do remind everybody today is. October 15th, 10, 15, 2023. So today would be uh, number 14 universal day and a 15 personal day. Happy birthday to Genuine. Today is his birthday. Genuine's birthday is today. Today is a good friend of mine an author and someone that I've known since P.S. Her name is Gladys Perez. She's an author and a dear, another dear friend of mine who we reconnected after all these years. And it was so good. She's a very tall sister too. She's about six something, I think. She's about, yeah, six feet, six feet tall. But she was always tall even in our classes when we was younger. <laughs> in um, P.S. 11. Yeah, we went to Pierce 11 and on Waverly Avenue in Brooklyn. Pierce 11 over there, off of not too far from Fulton Street. So first and foremost, um, today at 1212 Eastern Standard Time, I will be interviewing and sharing my platform with the one and only Dr. B. Sirius will be on with me today. Dr. B. Sirius will be on on King Simon Presents today with me. We got a double header. We got a double header today. Um, Dr. B. Sirius will be on with us today at 1212. So a couple hours. Uh, It is now 923 on the East Coast. And um, like I said, Dr. B. will be uh, be with us at 1212. At 10.10 tonight, I will have another great elder. I have Kaba Hiawatha Kamene, formerly known, formerly known as Booker T. Coleman, will be on the show with me today, tonight at 10.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, man, so Dr. B is on today. At 10 at 12 12 and Kaba Kamene tonight at 10 10. Dr. B is going to be talking about, of course, the God Power event that's coming up. I'm a part of it, we're going to be there. And then uh, my dear brother Kaba will be talking about the event that he's doing at Nicholas. We're going to be a part of that also. Now, I want to show everybody something because I'm not afraid to share knowledge and wisdom. And this book here, uh, this book here, and you know, everybody's not going to be as proficient as me, but I do implore people to learn to use things for themselves and to study for themselves. And by the time you get to me, if you need to confirm certain things that you may have missed with the numbers, or you may see some things that I don't see, but yet I can see it in another angle, then it's always good to consult a professional. I won't call myself a master because, like I said, I'm a student master. I'm striving. I'm 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 a master of the of, of being a student because I'm always learning. And this book is called Vedic Astro Numerology. Vedic Astro Numerology by Sagar Publication uh, at Ank Guru Ash Ash Ashak. Uh, Batia. So 
It's called Vedic astrology. Look at all of the symbols on there. Look at all the symbols up there in the from from India. Yes. Please don't ask me to say it again. Just rewind this and uh, do it again. I'm showing you this is the book. Part of the uh, what I'm going to talk about is why I say learning to put the numerovational puzzles together. I'm showing you that I use multiple systems of numerology. So I'm not afraid to go down that road. It's just that I will never take you down the road of negative uh, allow allow you to live in your negativity because I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to numerovate you. I'm not going to allow you to go down your negative road because you choose to go down your negative road because you feel the world is hate you and your family hates you and all that bull crap. That's crap. You're talking to somebody that thought about that. That's why I almost left this planet at an early age because of thinking that way that family didn't love me my friends didn't love me boop, 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 boop. that's your sometimes when people go down that road that's their negative side of their ego not wanting to face the reality of changing their own paradigm not facing don't want to take on the responsibility that's like you know, and even if you get into religion and you give it all to Jesus, that's good. I'd rather you do that than just go and hurt yourself or take your life because of some bull. Don't give yourself to Muhammad. Go give yourself to Moses. Go. I'd rather you do that. If you can't hold on to, if you can't hold on to, um, uh, the 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 the, the uh, hold on to something uh, as far as your own responsibility then go and be a part of a religious organization where you have to strive to be at least like that religious leader. Strive to be like Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Strive to be like Jesus, peace and blessings, because that's what most Christians, and they give it all to Jesus. So if you're going to go, I don't, I'm not against religion. I'm against the negative use of the religious dogmatic systems. Not against religion, because religion only means to realign or take back yourself and bring you back to your universal understanding, following the example of that particular prophet of that of that scripture, of that particular uh, uh, denomination. So it's Christian. If Christian means being crystallized in the oneness of God, following the example of Christ, there's nothing wrong with that part of the puzzle. That's why I say learning to put the numerovational puzzle together. And I can use numerology. I can use religious philosophy. I can use uh, spiritual philosophy to put the puzzle together because it is a big puzzle. Hmm. You, if you open up your body and look at your body, you're a puzzle. The lungs, the heart and Things had to come together. Imagine, think about it. Go back into the time of when the body, when your mother and father, you, you, you was conceived in your mother and every part of the puzzle had to be formed in order to make the human body. So we are puzzles put together to serve the great purpose. Your, your, nine, your nine major organs are all a part of the puzzle to make sure that you are a walking, living entity. So learning to put the numerovational puzzle is by studying and then applying it, not just thinking you're deep so you can go get some man or go get some woman or go control somebody. It's not about that. I don't do numerovation for that. I do numerovation so you can motivate your darn self and take yourself to the next level. And there's a Bible quote that I want to quote. To show you that, yes, I'm an ordained minister. I don't say it much, but I'm ordained under uh, spiritual humanism, thanks to Sister Awatif, uh, uh, the former wife of Dr. York, who gave me guidance to, to do that. I'm also a, um, a ordained minister under Universal Life Church. Also two, two different systems because it gives me 
the open the openness to be able to study all things and be able to officiate under any system as long as I put my 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 apply my knowledge of study to whatever I'm doing. But I do it from a numerovational perspective. I do it from a numerovational perspective. And that's what's important to me. And that's what can help you become better. Remember. Yeah, just look up um, Vedic astro numerology. Look up Vedic astro numerology. You're not going to get this picture. You're going to go and look it up for yourself. I like people to look things up for themselves. I said it early on in the feed. I'm not going to, you don't ask me to show it again. I want people to research. And even if you get another Vedic astro numerology, if that's what you're supposed to get, go and get it. Move with your spirit. Don't move with what I'm telling you. I just give you inklings of where you need to go. I want you to go. That's what, that's what, because if you research it for yourself, like I did, I didn't, somebody didn't tell me to go study Vedic numerology, because I have a Vedic numerology book. I had one by one of the great ones, which was Horace Jahari, but something told me to go and research other Vedic numerologists, and my spirit went there. I see, I googled up the book, and I seen a variety of Vedic, but I went to one that pulled me in. Because you have to learn to tap into your own essence and your own energy. Not me, not somebody always giving you, giving you, giving you, giving you, giving you, and giving you, giving you. Stop. You are a living, breathing soul and spirit that is connected to the higher universal living breathing soul and spirit that we call energy in the scientific world, vibration in the scientific world, frequency in the scientific world. Spirit and, and, and soul is all words that seem to be connected to religious systems or spiritual systems, but it's energy at the end of the day. And, they, and due to all the studies of every scientist and physicist, they realize that they cannot destroy energy. That energy is constant. <laughs> so if that's the case, soul, spirit, and all of that, the body, energy, and that's, that's, those are all part of the puzzle. That's why I'm saying learning to put the numerovational puzzle together. Loom, uh, uh, the, the, the learning to put the, the, the numerovational puzzle together. And yes, I study different systems of numerology because every one of them have a perspective that can help to add on to make people better. Make myself better. Made me better. It made Lloyd better. Made Jackie better and proficient at what she does. And then studying cardiology, people think cardiology ain't a part of numbers. Yes, it is. You see numbers on a card. Damn it, it's, it's numerology also. That's another study of numerology. It's just that it's on a playing card. Duh. <laughs> I got the cardiology books too. I got some cardiology books. I got Aquarius Maximus books. As long as there's numbers attached to every spade and every club and everything, guess what? That is also a form of numerology. It's just in a card form. We're separating things. We, it's just a word. Cardiology and numerology and astrology. Just words. You want the content. You want the interpretations. You want the wisdom that can give you a better navigational system in this realm. So I'm not going to be on here for long. I'm not going to be on here for long because, you know, I told you I got Dr. B serious coming up at 12, 12 today in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. I'm in Georgia, don't it? Mm. Love always wins. So there's a quote that I heard Reverend Ike bellowed out this morning because I tell you, I, I listen to Reverend Ike because he's a part of my numerovational development too and putting the puzzle together every ex remember why i call it numerovation because it's using the principles of numerology the numerals and the principles of motivation 
Motivation can be anything in life that motivates you and put it together. It's called numerovation. So although I've studied with Les Brown personally, he's not the only one that I will quote during a session or I would use to make my mind stay on a higher frequency. I use Ian Lavanza, I use Queen of Four, I use Elisa Nichols, I use Eric Thomas, I use Jack Ma, I use I use uh, Tony Robbins, I use Zig Ziglar. I study all of them to make sure that the vation from out of numerovation helps me to keep on a motivating platform and, and keep on producing what I have to do to take myself to the next level. So I use Bible, I use Quran, I use Tao, I use whatever. Whatever I'm studying, I can apply it to numerovation because of the vation in it, because it's all about motivating and everything is connected to numbers. Now, in Romans, in Romans uh, uh, chapter 12, 2, it says, and be not conformed to, the, to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, when I talk about God, I talk about God within yourself because all of us are gods having a human experience. But it, what, what I like what Reverend Ike was talking about, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you got to unlearn to relearn. Because the Bible has wisdom. I don't care what they've done with it over the years as far as put us in slavery, control us. There is wisdom in the book. There's wisdom in the Quran. There's wisdom in the Tao. There's wisdom in all of these books. That is the basic premise of all those books, that it has wise words for the wise man and woman to work out with. So don't, don't shun your Christian or your, your Christian mother or your Christian father. Don't shun your Muslim mother, or your Muslim father. Don't shun your Hebrew mother, or your Hebrew father. Get the wisdom of those books because they put the wisdom in it, then they express they 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 sprinkle the whatever they whatever else they had to put in it, but the wisdom is still in those books. So so when I read it myself. Uh, Romans 12, 2, and I've read this before. I read this years ago. I, I was studying to be a minister years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, it brought me back. I said, be ye transformed by the renewing of my mind, uh, 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 be, be, uh, and renewing of my mind, meaning, meaning to me that we have to, in order for you to renew your mind, you have to unlearn a lot of the different things that they've been pushing upon us. And that's the new that's the new way of renewing. Unlearn to relearn, because you're renewing your mind. You're doing some type of brainwashing. You're doing some type of brainwashing, and it's all right to wash your brain from the madness that you was taught and the, the mind control that you was taught. But after you wash your brain, what are you going to put in it? That part. After you wash your brain. Because everybody, gets to go, he brainwashing me. He brainwashing me. Some of you people need a brainwash because you've been so. The only reason somebody could shut down from seeking knowledge and wisdom from other places other than the Bible. is because they've been controlled or taught that the Bible is the is all of be all of life. The Quran is the be all and is all of life. That's what they taught us. But yet. If you burned all the books and Bibles of the world, where would you get the information again? Where would you see? Where would you see? What would you see? But you can study nature and be wise again because there was many of us before those books even came into existence that lived in rural areas that did. I mean, even the people in the Bible didn't even have the book, even then they didn't have the Bible. Job didn't have a Bible. Abraham didn't have a Bible. <laughs> it was Moses that supposedly got some got a, got his first books. But if you look beyond Moses, all of those great ones, Noah and all of them didn't have a book. They had to connect and communicate with the universal creative force 
in whether the meditation world, whether it's through nature. That's why Noah was able to call upon the rain to make sure it flood out according to their scriptures. So I'm just, I'm not, you know, I'm not, this is not a religious, uh, a religious so-called, so-called breakdown of anything. I'm telling you that learning to put your numerational puzzle together is going to be very important because once you learn to put your own puzzle together, and I'm just doing this because I have a class coming up on October the 28th from 11 to 2 p.m., which is going to be so simple that a comprehensive child, if they're seven, eight, or nine years of age and they com comprehend, they will get it to a comprehensive 100-year-old will get it, and they can sit in the same room together and get it. They can sit in the same room together and get it and watch watch me break down these numbers from a simple plus simple perspective, but yet an applicable perspective because it's called my my work my my webinar coming up on October twenty eighth is called uh, Applied Numerovation. Applied Numerovation. Notice I didn't just say numerology. Applied numerovation. So you, the individual that takes the class, can stay motivated. You, the individual that have family around you, interdependently working with, can also benefit from it. So you can help them. And sometimes they don't. Hey, look. Sometimes they're not going to listen right now. Sometimes it's not upon you to help them to put their puzzles together. Sometimes they got to listen to other people. And I, I recognize that with my youngest son. Because he's going through his 16, 17 year old, his 17 year old stages now. Is he? Because it's all crossroads right now. He's 17, about to go 18. And he don't want to talk right now. And I understand you could, you know, you could feel all the stuff that's heaping up in your mind. Because it, it happened with me and my father. To the point now, me and my father are good friends. To this day, we talk. I call, we talk each other. We call each other, check on each other. So, with, with that being said, my oldest son has my youngest son's ear. And my oldest son and I already rectify what we went through with me not being with his mother anymore, leaving the community and all that. So he understands more now as he's gotten older and he's become the big brother to everybody if, they, if they're willing to listen. And one thing about him, he's going he gonna to cut, he gonna cut through all the madness. So sometimes... When you're trying to help somebody put their puzzle together, maybe it's just for you to drop that brief information on him, but make sure you have somebody or or, or her, make sure you have somebody around them that are con that, that they that they listening to. Because they may not listen to their parents. They might not want to talk to your parents. And and I tell my son, I said, I told my older son, I said, that's good. You keep on talking to him. You already know how I feel. You know my spirit. Y'all know, you know how, you know what I went through. My oldest son knows what I went through, you know, because I've told him the story. I've told him what I went through. And I just wish that they will not be be like me at that time, chasing and doing all kinds of craziness in the entertainment world, doing my stuff. So it's good that you have an accountable team of people to not only help put your puzzle together, but also being able to help put others together that you may love and care about you, your daughter, your son, your niece, your nephew, your grandchildren, learning how to put that numerovational puzzle because the numbers tell a very distinct story of guidance. You know what I'm saying? Very distinct uh, 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 story of guidance. Dr. B just texted me. Great. No problem, Dr. B. And so once you understand that, once you understand how to use that, you know, that's important, you know, that's important. That's important. You got to have accountable people around you because each puzzle that you put together represents a, uh, a different period of your time, represents a different part of you. And if you see somebody if you, and remember, if you see people that are going through certain things in their life, but you know that they might have a girlfriend that can talk to them or they might have a good friend that they talk to, them, try to get to that friend. Try to get to that girlfriend and say, look, because sometimes your son or your daughter might not listen to you. They might not talk to you. 
They might not want to listen because, you know, uh, familiarity breeds contempt a lot of times. And sometimes people get hard headed and want to do what they want to do. But you got to always take account of that there are other people that your son or your daughter may listen to to help them bring their puzzle together. Because some of these children out here, some of the younger people, and I was the same way. My my puzzle was broken up into all types of pieces. I was going through a whole lot and a lot of people wouldn't know about it because I smiled through it. I'd laugh it through it. I laugh at anything. My ex-wife used to say, hey, what you laughing at? Because although I was going through it, whether I was going through stress with her, them or stress with family, stress with this, my I would try to, I would just laugh it off. And sometimes, yeah, you know, you can get into arguments, but sometimes you just don't want to argue. You just want to laugh it off. And sometimes the, it took someone that I listened to to bring at least one of the puzzles together to bring myself to understand, you know what? I got to change my ways. I got to reformulate. I got to start putting the right puzzles together because I'm, I'm putting the wrong peg in the wrong spot and it's not working out for me. And that's what we got to recognize. That's why learning to put your numerovational puzzle together is very important because the numbers can give you direction. It's not here to control you. It gives you direction. It's not here to control you. So one of my my uh, family members' birthday was yesterday, and I said, you know, I looked up the numbers real quick, and when I added his birthday, I said 10 plus 14 plus 20, 23, that adds up to 2047. And when you add 2 plus 4, which is a 6, and 6 plus a 7 adds up to 13, which is a 4, it tells me that that person is in from a mathematical perspective. Because like I said, numbers don't lie. Everybody like to say that, but we be playing games with it. We're not, we, we're thinking about outward numbers don't lie, but also numbers connected to you in your birthday and your name doesn't lie either. I've shown the proof. I, it is not a theory anymore. It is a theorem. It's not, it's not hocus pocus. It's following cycles, patterns, secrets. So when I told that particular person that, yo, you're in a four year cycle, very good years, a crossroad. It's about structure and organizing, reorganizing your life so you can handle this crossroad because crossroad only means to cross the road. So when you're in those crossroad cycle, which usually lasts, the main one usually lasts for four years. And then there's others, but those are others of advancement. If you choose to advance, because I tell people, look, <laughs> numbers are objective. They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn whether you believe it or not. They work behind the scenes. You have a watch. You have analytics. You have computer numbers. You have uh, a phone that have phone numbers or phone uh, frequencies that are connected to numbers. They're going to work behind the scenes whether you believe it or not. They're going to work. And I guarantee, I used to not say guarantee, but I guarantee that the cycle will reveal your ups and your downs with your numbers every time. I have not, I've done, you know, people can say, oh, you've only been right 90% of the time. No, if you really study the numbers, you'll find that mathematics is life and life is mathematics. And it can be proven at any given time. But you got to learn to use your math. You got to learn to use your patterns. You got to learn to use your cycles. You got to learn to use your sequences. You got to learn to use your math to secure not only good luxury, good homes, money, and, 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 and friendship and all ways of life, but to secure some internal understanding about who you are and what you are so you can be better in whatever religion you're in, whatever spiritual system you're in, so it helps you to become better. Content disclaimer, the views, comments, and opinions expressed by guests, speakers, or authors on this YouTube channel do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions held by this channel's broadcasters and its sponsors, Parental Guidance is advised. 
Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teachers, scholarship, education, and research. For fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringed. Did you ever wonder if your birthday holds information about your destiny? Why you keep seeing the same number or several numbers? Welcome to Numbers Are Simple, People Are Complicated. I am your host, King Simon. Numbers are not here to control you, they're here to give you guidance. It's time for you to be able to read the numbers. This is King Simon. Remember, make sure you go to my website, kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com or Linktree at King Simon the Numeral Ovation. Get all four of my books. And of course, that's the Numeral Ovation for Mental Stability. Numbers are simple. People are complicated. Numbers are simple. Children's health is important. And no promotion is bad promotion. Just spell my name right. Make sure you get them now on all my links. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. Go now. Hey family, it's King Simon, the founder of Numerovation. Remember, if you want to book a session with me and get a Numerovation consultation, all you have to do is text me your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022. And if you want any of my books, go to linktree forward slash King Simon, the Numerovator. That's King Simon, the Numerovator. And your books are available on Amazon. Remember, I'm the El Numero Uno, the Numerovator himself. And if you want to book a session, all you have to do is text me. Make sure you get my books on Amazon. I love you. Peace.